we are going to work on the right section where we are going to load the cards. And the card that we have in here, you can see has an image here on the left and on the right, it has the content. So let us just go to Bootstrap one more time in here, search for cards. We okay, have the card in here. Let us scroll down and see for some card examples. And if we don't see or if we don't find an example, we can create it by using what we currently know from Bootstrap. Okay, so you can see here that it doesn't have anything so far. But if you scroll down further, okay, this one has an image, but it has the image at the top. You can see that we have a card that has the image on the left, on the right, it has a title, it has a P tag, and then it also has a small text. So let us copy this one. I'll just copy this one. And then in here, where we have the column and D4, I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to replace the image with an image from the assets folder, images, and then card image.png. I'll just also set a max width for the image that is going to be, let's say, so a style, the style is going to have a max width and the max width is going to be 540 pixels. Now let us copy this section. Let us paste it down here one more time. Let's save the change and go to the browser just so we can see the result. Now you can see in here that we have the image, but the image is very large. So what we need to do is that we need to go back to the code and set a max width for the image so that we can have the design that we want. So in here, let us see if for the image, the max style is applied or not. Let's remove the alt tag. It's not necessary. Let's remove some text from here. And then let's also remove the secondary text. Let's remove it from down here. Also make this slightly shorter. Now, since we have set the max width in here, you can see that at the card level, we have a max width. Let us remove the max width from here. Scroll up, remove the style from here. Because when you have the style on the image, it means that the style on the image is going to override the one from up here, which makes the image to be 540 pixels. But with the current setup, what happens is that the whole card is 540 pixels. And from these 540 pixels, if we divide it into 12 equal parts, then four parts will be taken by the image and eight parts will be taken by the body part, by the body section, basically. In here, other than the image and the text that we have in here, we also have a button. The button, similar to the text, will be a P tag, and we are going to set the class card text. Then inside the P tag, we are going to have a button. So the button is going to be clickable. For that, you can either create a button or you can just create an A tag. And then in the A tag, we are going to have the trailer text. In front of the trailer, you could see that we had an icon, an I, and the icon that you saw is of type BI, BI dash fill. And if you want to replace the icon of the film, you can always go to the bootstrap icons, just like you saw on the last part, search for a different icon and set the icon in here. Now for the A tag to be a button, it needs to have a class and the class is going to be BTN, BTN warning. The BTN warning is going to make the button look yellow. So let us copy this part. I'll just copy this one, control C, then scroll down to the other card and paste it in here, save all the changes and go back to the app. Now here on the app, you can see that we have a similar design to what we have on the final app. So here on the right, we have the image on the left. We have the planet Earth, let's say. You have the, the actors. But here on the right, you can see that we have only two. Now, what you can do in here is that you can go and add one more. So one more card and you'll have now three cards and then simply change this one to be larger. 